What is going on? Casualty Crypto here with a quick tutorial on how to get on the Phantom Network. If you are new to the channel, I invite you guys to hit the night like button, hit subscribe, and tick the little bell notification icon. If you haven't heard about Phantom, I have a video here that talks about what Phantom is and how getting in on Phantom right now is like getting in on Binance Smart Chain while it's still fresh out of the oven. Some of you may remember seeing uh, getting cake token for like 40 cents and now it's at like 30 to 40 dollars right now. So there are huge opportunities in the space and I'm excited to show you how to get started. And to start off, uh, Phantom, uh, they are their own project. And if you want to interact with Phantom, you need to have a wallet that interacts with the Phantom network. One of the wallets that a lot of people use this is the MetaMask wallet. You can get it at MetaMask.io. Uh, you can download here. It's a Chrome browser extension. You uh, so you can get it there. And if you are using like a Mac, uh, there are likely like Mac options as well too. So once you have the the wallet set up, you have to set up uh, a Phantom Opera network because MetaMask by default is an Ethereum wallet, but they do have but the option where you can add new wallet like the binance smart chain so to do so you go to the phantom foundation they have a tutorial on how to set it up so once you get to this page you go on your wallet you set it up a new network you type in phantom opera right here and then there are some parameters you can grab and paste it right here right chain id 250 and then uh chain symbol is ftm and then the block explorer that's the website where you see in the edge transaction ftmscan.com and once you do that voila that's how you do it it's pretty straightforward pretty easy to set it up you don't need to download like another wallet just to handle like your ftm phantom tokens and all the ftm uh class tokens it's very easy and now you have a wallet now the question is how do you get the coins on it there are two ways to get coins onto here. Uh, the first way is you can use uh, multi-chain.xyz. This format uh, allows you to transfer Ethereum-based tokens over. So if you are not familiar with it, uh, Phantom can be purchased on the Ethereum network. So you can type it, you can go here and find Phantom. You can buy some Phantom token. And once you have Phantom token, you can go here to multi-chain. Uh, you can see Ethereum ERC20 base Phantom, and you can bring it over to your Phantom wallet, like your Phantom wallet on uh, Phantom. So this is easy. The downside is, as you all know, Ethereum is expensive. It costs a lot just to make a transaction to buy Phantom, all right? And then once you have Phantom, it costs a bit, costs quite a lot just to send it over because you're interacting with uh, ERC bridge, right? And each transaction can imagine and that can range from like 10 to $50. So if you don't have that much to spend and maybe you have a, a like you have gains from your Binance Smart Chain. Another way to go about is you can do it through the Binance Smart Chain route. Uh, you start off by sending uh, getting on to Binance, I do have a community referral code in the description. You can start with Binance. You buy some BNB token. You start with go right, and let's say you have Binance token. You buy your BNB token. You can go. You can send it over to your BSC Binance Smart Chain wallet. Uh, if you don't know how to set that up, I have another video that shows you how to do that. But overall, you just have to set up a Binance Smart Chain wallet send some BNB over, and then you go to the website anyswap.exchange slash bridge. And when you connect your phantom wallet over, when you connect your phantom wallet over, uh, right, you just type in, you want to send BNB over, right? I'm gonna send BNB, right? You type BNB. And then they'll say, if I want to send 10 BNB, I receive 10 BNB in, the phantom format so they call them i guess they call it frc20 and after you do that you have like bnb 
on your phantom wallet but you can't do anything unless you have phantom token and this is the hard part right there are exchanges like spirit swap there are uh and spooky swap but if you don't have phantom you can't swap your bnb into phantom so what you do is uh there are communities like the phantom foundation community where people are talking about phantom faucets right they are talk uh there are people who are like asking for phantom and then you have uh the phantom discord where people are giving like 0 0.001 phantom for you to get started so yeah so do check out these communities do ask about it uh right now they are focused on helping people get onto the phantom network and until binance is allowing you to withdraw phantom this is the way to do that and to be honest um it's pretty good that uh it's a huge advantage for anybody who is in phantom right now you have this head start before everybody is able to like flood into the phantom space so there you have it guys uh, just a quick introduction on how to get onto the phantom network how to set up the phantom wallet how to send like either phantom or uh tokens that you can convert to phantom and if you find this helpful i invite you guys to remember to like this video hit subscribe and take the little notification icon I'll be doing more videos on the Phantom Network, so be sure to keep uh, keep uh, stay in the loop and watch our next future videos because we'll be showing you all the new projects out there and we'll be getting in on them. And if you want to grow and get in at the ground floor, this is a channel you want to be at. And as always, uh, everything we do is more it's just for education and entertainment purposes. Don't take us stuff for as financial advice and. Yeah, let's all get in on the phantom train and go to the moon. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you at the next video. Peace and love, my friends, and God bless.